Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaAndThompson.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about follow-up mistakes. This is one of the big areas that I needed a lot of help and growth with. And so over the next two video sessions, we're going to be talking about 10 follow-up mistakes. Now, this is something that I learned from Grant Cardone. I have become a huge fan of Uncle G. And if you go to Grant Cardone, he has a television um, website called gctv.com. And he has some webinars that you can invest in. And one of them is called The Follow-Up, The Greatest Sales Secret of All Time. And he really took time to talk about these 10 follow-up mistakes. We're gonna talk about mistakes one through five in this video. And then tomorrow we're gonna talk about follow-up mistakes six through 10. Now you've heard it said that money is in the list, but the fortune is in the follow-up. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're following up with their leads is not following up to begin with. Most people online think, oh, I'll send them a link, they can watch the sales page, and then they're gonna buy. That's not what typically happens people tend to watch a video they need to be followed up with on average of a minimum of seven times before they make a decision so you can't show something just once grant took a study and he found that 48 percent of salespeople never call their leads back now when you make a follow-up and this can be you know through skype through phone through email through uh, Facebook messaging, you're going to get better the more you do it. And I love this quote from Grant where he says, greatness will not find you until you show up. Mistake number two is you maybe don't follow up enough. And again, this is what we mentioned before that 80% of all sales are made between the fifth and the 12th follow up. And right now, this is so, so important in this day of social media. The world is a noisy place and people's attention spans now today are only eight seconds so we are going to need to be able to follow up with people consistently because if you're out of sight you're out of mind and if you don't follow up enough with those leads someone else your competitors will and they are going to buy from them or join their business i can't tell you how many times i've lost sales because i wasn't quick enough to follow up Mistake number three, no follow-up schedule. You must have a follow-up schedule that is consistent. How often are you going to follow up with people, okay? And there are many ways you can do this through emails, text messages, phone calls, okay? You want to make sure that when you're doing a follow-up that you're following up with them on a regular basis. And what's really nice is with emails, when you use an autoresponder, you can uh, sequence your messages to go out at certain specific times. What Grant says is that regular follow-up shows you're trustworthy, dependable, and that in turn is going to lead you to more referrals. Mistake number four, waiting too long to follow up. Now, this is something that Grant does and does very, very well, is that he follows up with people within 60 seconds after the initial meeting. What he found is that when you follow up with people within 60 seconds, it increases the chances of conversion by 320%. What does he mean by that? So let's say you were on a Skype call and you were talking with someone, you, they were willing and open to look at your business opportunity. So the minute that Skype call ends, you could go and send them a Facebook message or an email or a text and say, hey, great talking with you today. Love your energy, pay them a sincere compliment. And then here is that video, looking forward to talking to you tomorrow and getting your feedback. Really short, really quick. You see, speed is certainty. Speed says you're the person that they want to deal with. Speed says confidence because people are going to do business with those who they know, like, and trust, and they have confidence in themselves. Final mistake for today's session is lack of variety. And a lot of times when people are following up, Grant said a lot of times 
if you just relied on phone messages, people will turn a blind eye. You want to shake things up. So you want to do things such as text message, voicemail, phone, email, Skype, social media. Handwritten notes are extremely powerful. Or doing a personal visit if you know that they are within your area. What this does is when you show them variety, it shows that you're going to do whatever it takes. Did you find value from today's video session today? Leave a comment and share. Now, here's my prescription from Uncle G. Which mistake of these first five are you guilty of making? I'm going to be honest with you. I did all five. And then I learned how to do better follow-up. Now, what I would suggest that you do is start following Grant Cardone. You can go to gctv.com. He's got tons of great uh, videos that you can learn from from him. And also, I have something here that's really geared toward home business owners that will help you with follow-ups, especially if you're doing a lot of marketing on social media. So what I want you to do is there's this free master class. Go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash social media sponsoring and you can get all the information there on how you can do better follow-ups with your leads. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.